Hello, 9th standard CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. I hope you are all doing well. And uh, today we are going to do video number 19, continuation of the lesson, chapter 7, Diversity in Living Organisms as part 4. Right? In part 1, we have learned uh, in the same uh, topic, diversity as five kingdom concept and in uh, part 2 we have learnt uh, about uh, plant kingdom otherwise kingdom plantae and part 3 as kingdom animalia right now in this session video number 19 we are going to do the same topic uh, diversity in living organism especially with reference to five kingdom classification some of them in tabular form and so a few of them representation as pictures as, as many pictures that we could collect that we are going to discuss so yeah and then one more clarification i would like to say when we are doing video number 14 and 15 and this continuation of this lesson right but uh, i think you would have taken it for a learning discussion for it is what you have written now, but I have not done so. We are just continuing the lesson as video number 14 and diversity in living organism part 1, video number 15 and the part 2. So, we will just continue now video number 19. What are you seeing in this uh, video screen? We have biological classification. Yeah, I love. Why do we need a uh, uh, classification what is the basis for classification all that we have started discussing learning in video num part 1 uh, video number 14 part 1 yeah. and uh, we find different forms of uh, life on the earth as example uh, starting from microscopic organism bacteria or viruses as living and non living to Highest are the gigantic plant redwood tree found in California, which is 100 meters tall. Same way in animal, it is 30 meters, the gigantic blue whale. So, starting from microscopic to gigantic plant and animal, we don't know what are they, how are they, from where they have come. Yeah. So, we need to classify the living organisms on earth. So, that basis, it was Greek thinker Aristotle. First, he started classifying animals. The Greek thinker Aristotle, first he started classifying animals. Sharia. From there, first uh, animal that live in sea include what are all underwater organisms include corals, whales, octopus, starfish and shark. Is it not? But at the same time, all of them will have different form and size. Otherwise, different size and shapes. Is it not? Now, which is a common character for that? It is only the habitat. What is a habitat? Habitat is a place where the living organisms live. I hope you, you could recollect this point. Is it not? So here the common character they share is only the habitat. Apo, we need to think about the differences in body form and function. That we name it as characteristics. What is the characteristic feature of the given organism? So, other uh, scientists say that it is appearance or behavior. Other appearance, the form, behavior, and the function. So, we just say appearance or behavior, where appearing, appearance referring to form and behavior refers to function. I hope you understand this. Yeah? So, in the Madri, Ururu basis of classification. Otherwise, we say criteria for classification. In that, uh, first, 
it is uh, classified scientists classified first based on form and function solitary second one whether they are formed of single cell or many cell other than they are as unicellular and multicellular organisms again under that they classified categorized as prokaryotes and eukaryotes karyo referring to nucleus pro referring to before nucleus and eun referring to true nucleus okay so prokaryotes they are cells unicellular organisms appeared before the formation of true nucleus then what happens to the nucleus here the nucleus it is just represented by genetic material that is they are referred to as incipient nucleus or nucleoid sorry so in the mari whereas multicellular they have well defined or the nucleus with the outer nuclear membrane inner to that nucleoblasm enclosing nucleolus and chromatin network in the form of chromosome so the very basis of classification that started helpful in classifying the organism now what you are seeing in the video figure is just five kingdom classification where they are classified into five kingdom as monera protista fungi plantae and animalia and it was this scientist r h wittaker in the year 1969 r h wittaker in the year 1969 proposed five kingdom classification what are all kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia i hope you understand huh? earlier the classification was two kingdom classification and then it was in plants it is by bentham and hooker system of classification but still it is followed today bentham and hooker system of classification in flowering plants and uh, like there are different scientists who are uh, classifying plants and animals so let us turn the five kingdom classification proposed by r h wittaker okay so we'll continue as uh, next one one minute i just go through r h wittaker the scientist panangaitel na name the scientist nu solluve that you need to go through it okay then second one what is the need for classification ne kekra classification is essential to achieve the following what are all to relate things based on common characteristic features to relate things based on common characteristic features to define organisms based on salient features salient features na konja Uh, what is that related to that particular organism or that particular group so to define organisms based on the salient features and it helps to it helps in knowing the relationship among different group of organisms classifying the organism helps in knowing relationship among different groups of organisms right and it also helps in understanding evolutionary relationship between organisms evolution of occurrence of organism in the earlier life otherwise we say past history i, I hope you could follow this eh? so need for classification essential to achieve the following what are all to relate things based on common characters to define organism based on the salient features helps in knowing relationship among different groups of organisms and it helps in understanding the evolutionary relationship between organisms i hope you understand hmm? for second go through panna need for classification then i go to next step can you 
Shall I go to right? The next one. Next one. It is five kingdom classification. This is pictorial representation. This is normally called a tree chart. Tree chart na base lende are pretty branches are there na. So this classification, as I said, Monera, Rotista, Fungi, Kingdom, Plantae, Animalia. Yeah. So Monera, the first classification on the it is Monera. Animals, they are prokaryotic in nature. Prokaryotes na initially came. They are having uh, initially, nucleus without nuclear membrane and nucleoplasm. Yeah. So as uh, prokaryotes, they are having incipient nucleus. That means the nucleus is just represented by genetic material. Right. So what are the characteristic features prokaryotic? They are unicellular and they absorb or photosynthesize uh, structure that means uh, nutrition it is autotropic or heterotropic nutrition and then they are motile or non-motile some of them may show movement that is motility motile or locomotion and non-motile some of them they are not moving and this motile uh, structure they have cilia or flagella what is given hair like cilia or whip like flagella so monera prokaryotic organisms they are unicellular they absorb food or they can photosynthesize and they show motility or they are non-motile and reproduction is by asexual method what is asexual reproduction there is only single parent is involved, no formation of gametes and no variation will occur. In the moon, one two kathalipiketa kuda characters of asexual na one ke chala terina. Chare, what are all asexual? Single parent is involved, no formation of gametes, no fusion of, for no formation of gametes na le, no fusion. And then a new variation will occur. Right? Then second one, protest. Figure is paramecium. bacteria. and the examples in the figure. name will confuse just attractive then here protest as eukaryotic unicellular or multicellular again eukaryotic na all the organisms will have true idellame bacteria parmesium idu seriya idu idu parmesium idella bacteria idu rendu bacteria then prokaryote la some bacteria there, sorry, the lame bacteria, other details on the Namartha the Padipo. Tablet call a particular, Promonida or further details we will learn. Sorry. So, protest, eukaryotic, presence of true nucleus, unicellular, they are single cell or multicellular, many cell organisms. And they absorb food material, so they may be heterotroph or ingest they can take the whole food amoeba will ingest the whole food and there may be phototropic photosynthesis this is spirogyra where they can in a the multicellular they can prepare their own food and reproduction is both by sexual and asexual reproduction. Asexual, just now I said earlier, what is that? Asexual reproduction occur, uh, single parent involved, no formation of gamete, no variation will occur. Other than the asexual. Okay. Sexual, okay, two parents are involved, formation of gametes by 
male and female sex organ variation will occur. But at the same time, in this protist, they are small and lower organisms. So, that uh, sexual reproduction, it is not as well defined as that of the higher organism. Here mainly this uh, sexual reproduction is mainly by the method called conjugation. Are you clear? Hmm? The next one is kingdom fungi. Earlier fungi was included under kingdom plant, uh, plantae but here as it is having a separate saline features mainly all of them are non-chlorophyllous. Chlorophyll is totally absent. So, they are fully heterotropic. That is a separate status. They are included under separate kingdom fungi. And again, they are eukaryotic, multicellular, absorb food materials. They are as heterotroph. Heterotroph, they may be parasites, saprophytes and they are showing symbiotic association. And the next tabular column padipu. Right? So, these are all uh, fungi separate kingdom. Then, for the next one is plantae. That is kingdom, animal kingdom, plant kingdom padipu. So, uh, fourth uh, kingdom in Vitekas Lundi, kingdom plantae. And they are eukaryotic, multicellular. They can prepare their own food and other photosynthesized children and they don't show any motility. They don't move from place to place. But their plant parts will show movement. Okay. So then uh, they reproduce mostly sexual reproduction. But at the same time, there are vegetative method of reproduction will take place in Plant kingdom. That is the details of plant kingdom. Okay. Then uh, animalia. Kingdom animalia. Again they are eukaryotic. Multicellular. They can ingest food the heterotroph. They show movement. They move from place to place. And they have locomotor organs. As pseudopodia. Body setae. Tentacles. Cilia. And appendages that is locomotor organ and they reproduce both by sexual and asexual. Asexual and the hydra, budding, amoeba, fission, and other than the lower leopard, protist leopard. But at the same time, some of them they may show with the help of people insects, net in the they have appendages. I hope you understand this. Huh? So, this is, we say, uh, tree chart for uh, five kingdom classification. Kingdom, Monera, Protista, uh, Fungi, Plantae and Animalium. Okay. The next one, it is, in uh, textbook, this is Organism. This is, it is uh, proposed by Robert H. Whittaker, the number R. H. Whittaker, in the year 1969. So, he classified organisms as prokaryotic and eukaryotic. And prokaryotes include Monera, kingdom Monera. And eukaryote, they are further classified as unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular, example, protista. Multicellular, they are further classified into with the cell wall and without cell wall. Without cell wall, na, all animals, kingdom, animalia. Whereas with the cell wall, kingdom, plantae, they are phototropic in nature. They are autotrophs. They can prepare their own food. Whereas kingdom, fungi, they are heterotroph. I hope you understand. Hmm? This is our textbook. Just a second to go through. This is our flowchart. This is missing, uh, missing group of classification by RHV taker. Questions may be asked. Are you clear? Hmm? So, this is 
textbook flowchart rs with taker i hope you understand hmm? the next one it is again pictorial representation with takers by kingdom classification as kingdom protist kingdom protist adula protozoans and algae irukku idula kingdom protist la protozoanum algae irukku na first monera varna kingdom monera these are all different size and shapes of bacteria first monera different example undu bacteria there are different size and shapes of bacteria are you clear and this is kingdom protist where we have protozoans amoeba euglena and paramecium this is paramecium amoeba euglena and paramecium now this paramecium can you see this hair like structure so this is hair like cilia this is hair like cilia and this is euglena single whip like flagellum euglena single whip like flagellum and this is algae so this is for kingdom protista the next one kingdom fungi example mushroom yeast and bread mold rhizopus padipom la slim mold or bread mold as mushroom idu vandha nai kodai solluvom la adu mushroom yeast bread mold are you clear hmm? then kingdom of plants idu vandha conifer tree broad leaved tree fern mosses actually idu vandha bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperm angiosperm nam adha table padipom thaniya plant kingdom padikiradhu solli tharuven kingdom sorry idhula vandha bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperm and uh, angiosperm adha nam vandha kingdom plant ay la details padipom but this is kingdom of animals where animals are classified into different phyla phylum singular phyla plural are you clear hmm? so this is for vitakers by kingdom classification again i say there are some pictures which is attractive and easily uh, uh, understand easily so it is self explanatory otherwise it's a descriptive part this is self explanatory with the example go through panna or second pictures in a picture vache the five kingdom example you can write off here one as i used to say cbs ile ne magga pannave venda okay the next one it is again it is very beautiful i am putting very attractive as organism prokaryotes with the tiny simple cells no true nucleus no organelles idu nan solrana organelles are membrane bound structure present inside the cytoplasm as we know cell formed of nucleus and cytoplasm and that cytoplasm includes some living inclusions as mitochondria golgi body ribosome lysosome plastids la padikiram la so they are called organelles these organelles they are having membrane bound structure so here in prokaryotes there is no organelle chariya but as eukaryotes they are large more complex cells they have true nucleus and numerous organelles are present organelles energy can they are mitochondria golgi body ribosome lysosome endoplasmic reticulum and plastids sorry and then eukaryotes they are further classified as organism with the cell wall without cell wall with the cell wall they are as plantae and kingdom fungi plants when they they are autotroph they can prepare their own food idu vande heterotroph they cannot make their own food so they depend on other organisms for food so they can be parasites saprophytes or symbiotic 
association. Okay, and without cell wall, they are as multicellular all organism, and they may be unicellular like protista and without cell wall. Okay, so example animals and where is here protist when the example amoeba and algae monera ke example bacteria is kind of attractive and then i made this presentation i hope you could understand huh? one second go through panne in the idala the salient features in the points the salient features are you clear huh? okay. next one Fungi example, yeast, mold, mushroom in a previous uh, picture la person la, yeast on acterium, mold on the another bread mold picture ya work on a forward panni sorry uh, back panni par na and mushroom on the nicodine person la that is agaricus and on the example yeast, mold and mushroom right the next one Again, simple uh, flowchart, organism, prokaryote and eukaryote, prokaryotes na, only kingdom monera matum, eukaryote la, unicellular ke, protesta, multicellular ke, with the cell wall, without cell wall nga mochko, with the cell wall la, uh, heterotrop and autotrop, autotrop on the kingdom, plantae, heterotrop, Kingdom animal, sorry, kingdom fungi. Fungi example, mushroom, yeast, bread mold. Mold in a person, bread mold in a much Mushroom, agaricus, yeast, we know, and then bread mold. I hope you understand. Hmm? The next one, you will go through Pandya. Hmm? The next one, it is. In this presentation is also you can identify and remember easily. flowchart Kingdom, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, Animalia. Alla Kingdom Monera la example bacteria and blue green algae. Kingdom Monera bacteria and blue green algae. Whereas Protista they are unicellular. And another one, protozoan. Unicellular algae and protozoan. Right? Whereas in fungi, it is only fungal group. Mushroom, agaricus, yeast and bread mold. And they are heterotroph, non-chlorophyllous, absence of chlorophyll. So they are non-chlorophyllous. So they are heterotroph. They cannot prepare their own food. So they occur as they depend on other organisms for food. So they may be parasite, saprophyte and are in symbiotic association. Symbiotic association, typical example, lichens. Lichens are combination of fungal and algal filaments. That is the next part. We will learn. Are you clear? Then kingdom plantae they are multicellular algae bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperm angiosperm nama ekkane padichom illa adu multicellular algae bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperm angiosperm idella nama thani thaniya padikirathu i have said in previous uh, part 1 2 3 i hope you could recollect this hmm? multicellular algae bryophyte Pteridophyte, gymnosperm and angiosperm. Right? Whereas kingdom animalia, I'm a part 3 le parchon le, phylum, periphera, cylindrata, platyhelminthes, ashelminthes, analida, arthropoda, phylum, mollusca, echinodermata and phylum, cardata. I'm a word in the phylum le, part 3 le parchon. Phylum, Porifera, Cylindrata, Platyhelminthes, Ashelminthes, Analeda, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Phylum Cardata. Phylum Cardata, they are vertebrates. I hope you could recollect this. Huh? Kingdom Animalia, 
பார்ட் த்ரீல படிச்சிருக்கோம் யாவ படிச்சிக்கோ பிளான்டே வந்து பார்ட் டூல வீடியோ நம்பர் பார்ட் டூல படிச்சிருக்கோம் பிப்டீன் ஐடி நம்பர் ஏன் பார்க்கா சரி நெக்ஸ்ட் போட்டோமா நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் மெரிட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிமெரிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஃபைவ் கிங்டம் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் என்ன சொல்றது த கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி ஆஃப் செல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் செல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஆஃப் டேலஸ் ஹியர் டேலஸ் இட் இஸ் த பிளான் பாடி நம்ம படித்தோம் இல்லையா ஸ்டார்டிங் ஃப்ரம் பிளான் கிங்டம்ல படித்தோம் இல்லையா இந்த பிளான் பாடி இஸ் டேலஸ் என் டேலஃபைட்டா இட் இஸ் டேலஸ் சேம் வே என் கிங்டம் பங்க பஞ்சையில் த பிளான் பாடி இஸ் கால்டு மைசீலியம் விச் இன்டர்ன் ஃபார்ம்ட் ஆஃப் நியூமரஸ் ஹைப்ரே அந்த மாதிரி ரூட்லெஸ் ஸ்டெம் ரூட் ஸ்டெம் அண்ட் லீவ் வென் தே ஆர் ஆப்சன் த பிளான் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் பிளான் பாடி ரெப்ரஸன்டட் பை த நேம் கால்ட் டேலஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் இட் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் மூட் ஆஃப் நியூட்ரிஷன் நியூட்ரிஷன் நார்மலாக ஆட்டோட்ராப்ஸ் ஆல் கிரீன் பிளான்ஸ் ஹெட்டிரோட்ராப்ஸ் வந்து பேரசைட் சாப்ரஃபைட் அண்ட் என்னது சிம்பயோட்டிக் அசோசியேஷன் ரைட் and then separation of fungi from plants and it shows phylogeny of the organism and the merits kingdom monera and protista it accommodate both the kingdom accommodate both and another uh, both another autotroph and heterotroph organisms and cell wall lacking and cell wall bearing organisms and mari rendayum ஒரே இதில் சேர்க்கறது அண்ட் மேக்கிங் தீஸ் டூ குரூப்ஸ் மோர் ஹெட்ரோஜினஸ் அண்ட் வைரஸஸ் வந்து இந்த கிங்டம் ஆஃப் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் பை கிங்டம் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷனில் வைரஸை எதுலேயுமே சேர்க்கலை அதுதான் மேஜர் டிஃபெக்ட் ஆர் இட் கிளியர் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இட் இஸ் கிங்டம் ப்ரோட்டிஸ்டா இது ஜஸ்ட் சில பிக்சர்ஸ் எனக்கு கிடைச்சதுன்னா அதை மட்டும் கலெக்ட் பண்ணி போட்டிருக்கேன் Kingdom Protista. One second. Is that what you can do? Huh? 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 Kingdom Protista. An example. Kingdom Protista. Think about it. Kingdom Protista. Example. Hmm. கொஞ்சமாதுமோடியம் அண்ட் பரமேசியம் கிங்டம் ப்ரோட்டிஸ்டா they are eukaryotes most of them unicellular some may be multicellular example seaweed it is an algae and they are autotroph or heterotroph and protists contain organism that do not fit into other eukaryotic kingdom it features edella eukaryotic ku fit panna mudiyillo all other they are in all other eukaryotes they are included under protista sorry protist evolved from prokaryotes as bacteria and it may be plant like animal like or fungus like that is a group called mycoplasma and idil kaatren last idil kaatren it is as mycoplasma i hope you understand hmm? the next one it is tabular column இது வந்து கொஞ்சம் உல்டாவா இருக்கு ஐ டோன் நோ ஹவு டு ரிவர்ஸ் இட் ஜஸ்ட் நான் வந்து உனக்கு கியூபில தருவேன் நீ அப்ப வந்து அதை புரிஞ்சுக்கோ இந்த டேப்ல காலம் கியூபில தருவேன் அதை கொஞ்சம் பாத்துக்கோ அஸ் இதுக்கு அடுத்ததுல தந்திருக்கேன் இருந்தாலும் பாரு கியூபில இருக்கும் அடுத்ததுல கொடுத்துருக்கேன் இதை பாரு கிங்டம் மொனிரா ப்ரோட்டிஸ்டா பஞ்சை பிளான்டே அனிமாலியா கேரக்டர்ஸ் என்னெல்லாம் செல் டைப் டே ஆர் அஸ் ப்ரோகேரியூட்ஸ் ஆர் eukaryotes right and then cell organization cell organization na they are unicellular or multicellular okay and the cell wall whether it is 
present or absent and nutritional class na their mode of nutrition as i said they are autotroph whether they can prepare their own food or heterotroph and the nutrition and mode of nutrition and whether they are absorptive or they can prepare their own food that is mode of nutrition சரியா சோ ஹியர் ஆக்சுவலா நம்மளோட டெக்ஸ்ட் புக்ல அந்த கியூபில நான் தரது வந்து கம்பாரிசன் ஆஃப் 5 கிங்டம்ல நியூட்ரிஷனுக்கு ஆட்டோட்ராப் அண்டர் தட் ஃபார் கிங்டம் மொனீரா அதாவது பாக்டீரியாக்கு தே ஆர் ஆட்டோட்ராப் பட் இட் இஸ் कॉल्ड பாக்டீரியல் போட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் இட் மே பீ போட்டோட்ராபிக் ஆர் கீமோ ஆட்டோட்ராபிக் சரியா அதே மாதிரி ஒரு ஒரு கிளாசிபிகேஷன்ல சொல்லிருக்கேன் தட் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் கிவன் மோட் ஆஃப் நியூட்ரிஷன் தான் ஆக்சுவலா ஆட்டோட்ராப் ஹெட்ரோட்ராப்னு சொல்லுவோம் இதுல வந்து அது அடிஷனல் வந்து தே ஆர் அப்சார்ப்டிவ் ஆன் இன்ஜஸ்டிவ் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு குரூப் இருக்கு நான் டீடைல்ஸ் சொல்லி தரேன் அடுத்த செஷன்ல ஆக்சுவலா தீஸ் டூ தீஸ் டூ ஷுட் கோ டுகெதர் okay the next one it is adhe dhan katre idla par idla clear a irukku mode of nutrition par var midila na already solliyaachu so i am not repeating you will just go through mode of nutrition idla par mode of nutrition autotrophic illa vande chemosynthetic and photosynthetic monera la they are chemosynthetic and photosynthetic right and they may be heterotrophs as parasite or saprophyte whereas protistala they are photosynthetic or again autotroph or heterotroph fungi la kanna mudindu they are heterotroph nu solli right they are parasitic or saprophytic and plantae photosynthetic and animalia they are also heterotrophic in nature okay heterotrophic in nature right and mode of reproduction la conjugation conjugation na sexual reproduction in lower most organism conjugation and gamete fusion and fungi la fertilization will occur fungi kingdom fungi plantae and animalia la fertilization will occur adala vande enna solradhu as i said it is not as fungi uh, la it is not as uh, well defined fertilization as in plantae and animalia the conjugation la the uh, as a result of conjugation it is called the resultant is called zygospore zygote chalamata zygospore idai mari protista la it is zygospore and uh, kingdom fungi la yo zygospore dan chalu okay so kingdom plantae and animalia la we say it is zygote well formed zygote will formed whereas on the plantae la yo lower most algae and bryophyte la they are called zygospore adu adha nama yaavo irukku nenikire na video 13 sorry 14 14 and 5 kingdom solli kuduthiruken 15 ல வந்து இந்த மாதிரி சொல்லி இருக்கீங்க பார்ட் 1 வந்து ஃபை கிங்டம் பார்ட் 2 வந்து பிளான் கிங்டம் டீடைல்ஸ் படிச்சிருக்கோம் பார்ட் 3 ல வந்து அனிமல் கிங்டம் டீடைல்ஸ் படிச்சோம் இல்லையா அதுல இந்த ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் டீடைல்ஸ் உனக்கு ஞாபகம் வரணும் ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஷல் ஐ கோ டு நெக்ஸ்ட் நான் இது வந்து எல்லாமே நம்ம ஏற்கனவே படிச்சது பட் ஸ்பெஷலி வித் ரெஃபரன்ஸ் டு when we discuss plantae and animalia na you should recollect part 2 and part 3 videos in the chapter order part 2 and part 3 ya neenga abava padichu okay the next one it is mycoplasma chonella it is having ena solradhu adukku vandu or special structure ne kedaiyadhu it has cell membrane ribosome and dna strand it is leafless stemless and rootless structure that is called mycoplasma i hope you are able to understand this 
Eh? So, this is five kingdom classification of organisms proposed by Whittaker. In a la kingdom protista, uh, monera, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, this is for chapter 7 Diversity in Living Organism, video number 19, and uh, part 4 we have discussed. Right? Next, we will complete the question and answer. We will complete this chapter. I hope you understand well. Okay? We will continue in the next session. Thank you. I will go through panne because it is a lengthy chapter. Hence, I made it as different parts. Okay? So, we will continue in the next session. Thank you.